This screencast will show you how to connect your website to Tumblr using PHP, MySQL, and the tumbleroauth.php class. Before we make that connection, we'll need to download the tumbleroauth.php class, which you can get at github.com slash jacobbudden slash tumbleroauth. For this screencast, we're only going to be interested in the classes oauth.php and tumbleroauth.php. The rest of the documentation, the rest of the files and documentation in here deal with making a connection to Tumblr and actually reading information from a Tumblr's user blog as well. This screencast is going to focus on posting to uh, a user's Tumblr blog as well as saving that information in our database. So I recommend that you take a look at Jacob's files and learn from them as I did and you can also use the example of reading from a person's uh, Tumblr blog if that's something that you want to do on your site. In ours we're just going to be posting. I've already downloaded these files and uploaded them to the server so let's go ahead and take a look at our directory structure and our scripts. Uh, I've uploaded the Tumblr OAuth class and the OAuth class into the includes directory, the classes directory, and then the OAuth directory. And here they are right there. And the reason that I do this is, is for organization and also because any other OAuth files that I want to put in here, such as a Twitter OAuth file, um, it's going to use the same OAuth.php class. So I just like to keep them all stored together. And you'll see here we have our config file. As in most websites where you have um, users, we're going to um, track them by sessions. In this instance, I didn't want to have to have a whole login system and, and, and um, make it overly complicated. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. So we're just going to manually create a user and give that user the ID of one. Uh, then we just have a few other configuration things, pull in the database file and the functions file, which we'll get to later. And then down here, we have uh, a, our um, constants for our Tumblr OAuth key, our Tumblr OAuth secret, and our Tumblr OAuth callback. The key and the secret are things that Tumblr will be providing to us as soon as we register our application. The OAuth callback is the full URL to our Tumblr OAuth.php page, which we'll get to in a second. The, basically the meat and potatoes of connecting to Tumblr. The callback URL is we're telling Tumblr where the script on our server is that Tumblr needs to interact with. Um, in this example, I've, I basically have two blocks of code one of them is, is uh, it gets run when the redirect variable is set and another one is here when the callback variable is set. Callback meaning that Tumblr is sending information back to our script. So we have the full URL and then the path to the Tumblr OAuth.php page or script and we set the callback variable to true. The next thing we want to take a look at is the Tumblr OAuth.php script. And I'm going to go through this fairly quickly because it's every single step is commented and you'll get a great understanding of it as soon as you open it up in your text editor. Basically, there's two blocks of code that, that get fired here, the redirect block and the callback block. In the redirect block, this is what happens when a user first encounters uh, our Tumblr, our sign in with Tumblr button, such as this, means they're not authorized, they have not authorized our website with their Tumblr blog yet. So if they click the, the button, they would get redirected to Tumblr. In this case, we can't connect to Tumblr just yet because we have not registered our website with Tumblr. So what happens in here is that we make a connection to Tumblr, we send the callback URL, if everything goes well, we redirect the user over to Tumblr where they can then either click the allow button or the deny button. Either way, the callback URL gets fired then. They come back to our script and they go through this part of code. Basically, we, do, we perform some checks in here. We make a connection. Uh, we get the, the user's token. Tumblr will generate a token and a secret for the user as well. Um, we go through, we you know, check, blah, blah, blah. And if everything is good, then we go ahead and we authenticate the user with Tumblr. We make sure that the, that the user is who they say they are. If everything comes back OK, we're going to go ahead and get the, the user's Tumblr name and their token and their secret and we're going to stick them in our database. We have a users OAuth table. The um, 
database table structure will be included in the uh, download files that uh, accompany the screencast. We go ahead and we put them in there so we don't make them run through the sign up process every single time they want to post something on our website. We check the database, we see if that person's there, we do an auth authentication with Tumblr again, and if everything is okay, we go ahead and let them post to our website and then send their post over to Tumblr. The next thing is our post.php script. That is this script right here. You can see it's post.php. Um, what we're doing in this script is we're showing right, right here on page load, we're, we're running our check Tumblr OAuth access function. And I'll explain that function in just a second. What we're doing is basically checking to see if the user has authenticated our website with Tumblr. If they have not, we show them the sign in with Tumblr button. If they have, we show them whatever we want, a piece of text that says you're authenticated or whatever. In this example, we're actually showing a form to where they can go ahead and post something to our site. The check Tumblr OAuth access function is basically what it says. We go ahead and check to make sure that that user is in our database and we get their token and their key and their username from our database table. We make a connection to Tumblr and we check to see if that's valid. If it's valid, we return true. If it's not, we return false. That's it. It's pretty simple. The next file that we have is our index.php page, which is nothing more than a redirect to our post.php page. Okay, so we have our files set up and we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and register our application with Tumblr. Go back over to our browser and we need to log into our Tumblr account. Um, I've already logged in. I created a special account called Tumblr OAuth for this example. Uh, I generally like to create a new Tumblr account for each website that I, that I do uh, OAuth access with. Just keeps it separate from a personal account, but you, you can obviously do this however you'd like to do it. Okay, so we basically enter in the name for our application, the URL to our application, a description, uh, an administrative contact email address, and then the callback URL, the full callback URL. We go ahead and put in here, make sure that the callback flag is set to true. We then need to upload an icon for our application and we go ahead and click the register button. And now our website has been registered with Tumblr. And you can see that Tumblr has now provided us with our key. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and go back to our configuration file and paste that in. And I'll go back to Tumblr and now I'm going to get our secret and I'll copy that, go back to the config file and paste it in. Okay, save the config file. And now we're ready to actually make a connection to Tumblr. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to Firefox. And I'm going to log out of my Tumblr OAuth account. And I'm going to log into a personal account. And the reason that I want to do that is that I want to show you that we're actually using a personal account to post to. Okay, so I've logged out of my Tumblr account. Here's my personal account. I'll just go ahead and log in and you can see that the name has changed. Let's go ahead now and go back to our authorization script. I'm going to go ahead and click sign in with Tumblr. And now you can see that we're at the, the authorization page where we can either deny our application authorization or we can allow it. I'm going to go ahead and click allow. We go back to our post.php script. And I already had the form filled out. I hard-coded all of this content into the form in the script. I'm going to check the Send to Tumblr checkbox. And the reason that I want to have a checkbox is so that the user doesn't want to have to send every single thing that they do on your website over to Tumblr. We want to give them the ability to pick and choose. So I'll go ahead and click Submit. Our form has posted. It says we've posted to Tumblr. Let's go back over to my account. I'll refresh it. And sure enough, there's the post that I just created.